Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn what is unique constraint in MySQL or MariaDB. So if you guys like our effort to create these tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe. Here, what is the unique constraint? Unique constraint enforces the uniqueness of a value or values in column or columns. So think about a scenario where we have customer table and if I would like to create the unique constraint on first name, then the table will not let me have the duplicate values for the first name. So if I will create the unique constraint on first name and last name column, then I will not have duplicate values in first name and last name as together. Okay. How you create the unique constraint? So first of all, you're going to go ahead and say create table and table name, then provide the list of the columns. And then at the end, you are going to write something like this. So you will say constraint name of the constraint and then you will say unique then provide the list of the columns in my case I'm creating the unique constraint on first name column okay let's create this table let me drop actually this table was already existing so we create this table now the table is created there are no values in this table as of now we are going to insert one record where our first name is Amir and the last name is Shahzad. Doesn't really matter if last whatever the last name is, but this is what we are experimenting as a for now. So run the query and check the values again. So we have one record with the first name Amir. If I will try to insert this value again, what will happen? It will throw us an error and tell us duplicate entry Amir for key unique uq underscore first name so it is telling us you cannot insert the duplicate records in a first name column because you have a unique constraint on this column if i want to insert other record i can do that if i will put the armor one it will be just fine okay now select the data and we can see that we have armor and armor one as long as the values are unique you will be able to insert but no duplicate record will be inserted as I came off with the background from a SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server, uh, and the unique constraint work a little different in uh, Microsoft SQL Server. You can insert only one uh, null value in uh, unique constraint. Uh, but here in uh, MySQL, uh, you can insert uh, multiple null values. Um, null means unknown. Uh, so null is not equal to null. That's uh, uh, in the databases. Um, okay. So if you have null value, that's not equal to another null in the same uh, table or column value. Okay. So it's unknown. Uh, so don't know which unknown. So that's why in MySQL, uh, it is uh, letting you insert multiple null values. Um, okay. Even you have the unique constraint uh, created on that column but in a Microsoft SQL Server you will have only one unique value if you have created a unique constraint now in this case I'm going to insert some records here just to show you you will be able to have multiple null values even you have unique constraint on first name column okay that's one of the uh, uh, kind of tip we need to remember if you are coming from different background from uh, mysql um, okay so uh, i'm not sure how it works in oracle i don't remember but uh, my, my mysql is uh, pretty much behaving totally different from a uh, microsoft sql server as i told you like there you will have only one null value all right now what we can do we are going to go ahead and drop this table and uh, after dropping this table, we are going to create this unique constraint on multiple columns. Um, so here we have first name and last name. That's what I will be using. So what you uh, have to do, so you will say create table, table name, and then the list of the columns. At the end, uh, you will have constraint, constraint name, and then uh, unique, and provide the list of the columns. Um, okay. So in this case, we are creating on first name and last name. Let's run this uh, script to create this table with the unique constraint on the multiple columns. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert some values. Before we insert, let's take a look. Right now, we, we don't have any data in this customer table. Let's insert the values. And the one record is inserted. So let's take a look on that record. So it is Amesh Yazad one. Okay. If I will try to, sorry, if I will try to insert the same record again, what will happen? 
it will give me error because it is telling me there are duplicate record for Amir and Shah dash Shahzada. So see, I didn't put dash or anything here. It is telling me. Let me copy if uh, I can copy the row and uh, just paste it here. Okay, so error code. See right there, that's the uh, thing. So it is in duplicate entry, Ahmed dash Shahzad one. I didn't include dash here, but uh, that's how the records are going to match or compare. So if you have first name and last name, then uh, it's gonna take the first column, dash second column, and then compare with the existing values, um, okay? So remember that if you have uh, unique constraint on multiple columns you can put uh, different values uh, as together so now if uh, uh, i'm putting amir amir does exist in the law first name already but shahzad 2 does not exist so as a combined uh, these two values are different uh, from what is uh, present in the table so let's go ahead and insert that okay now the values are inserted and we can see that uh, so just uh, these uh, two values as a combined should be different uh, from these uh, two values and they are that's why it work uh, we cannot put uh, the same duplicate value uh, in the first name and last name together okay now if uh, your table does exist uh, already and you want to create the unique constraint uh, you can okay in this case uh, we have uh, uh, to say alter table table name add constraint constraint name unique and then provide the list of the columns. Uh, in my case, the table name is customer. I give, have given the name of the unique constraint called UQ underscore age. Type is unique and the age in my column. Okay. If I will try to run this uh, script, what will happen? Check the values here. We have uh, 39 and 39. If I will run it, it will throw me error. It say duplicate entry 39 for key UQ age. So if I will go ahead and select that again, it is uh, throwing me error because I already have duplicate records in this uh, column. So I cannot create unique constraint. Uh, if uh, you really feel that there should be a unique constraint on that uh, column and uh, this uh, data could be a mistake, uh, maybe social security, uh, I'm using the wrong column here, there should be social security column or something that makes sense. Uh, so if I will say, oh, social security cannot be the same for uh, the um, different people, so okay that social security is wrong there so let's correct so you might update or something and then you will have unique values when you have unique values i'm going to delete one here let's say and then bring the unique values okay now we have unique values and then you will be able to create the unique constraint okay all right so now if we select from there it's all good. So unique constraint is created. If you want to see the unique constraints, so you will say describe and the customer and it will show you the list of the columns with your constraints on which you see right here. First name, so key multi and the age unique. Okay, so that's how you will create the unique constraint on different columns in the MySQL database. Thanks very much for watching and I hope this video will help. I will see you guys in the next video.